Named one of the outstanding five speakers in the world. Inducted into the Speaker Hall of Fame. Award-winning singer. Best-selling author. And now, here's Willie Jolly. Well, it's time to get it on. It's time to change your life. Are you ready for Change Your Life Radio? <laughs> Are you ready for something that will inspire, empower, and encourage you? Well, you got it today. We've got a special show today. It's going to have a profound impact on your thinking. It's going to have an impact on your spirit. I can tell you right now, this is going to be a show that you're going to want to talk about, you're going to tell your friends about, because this is one of those shows that's going to go down, I already know, as one of our shows that people are going to say, we got to hear that again. I've got a special show today with guests from literally around the world. And that's the best way to say it. And so we are using Skype and all sorts of new technologies to be able to reach people as far away as South Africa. So this is going to be a great show. Get ready. You know, I always take a moment before every show to give God glory and thank him for every day, every opportunity. I have an attitude of gratitude, which is something I say every week. But today is actually going to be even more profound because I say it as a part of my show every week, but today's show is about gratitude. The first hour is about gratitude. And so I'm grateful for what God has given me, not just this show, not just my speaking career and my books and television and radio and all the blessings, but more importantly with life. I'm grateful for life. I'm grateful for every day. I spoke this morning for a conference that was for young African-American women, uh, uh, middle school girls. And I spoke to them about excellence and having an attitude of gratitude, as well as the fact that this is a time when you can pursue excellence. And excellence is always the best way to focus your job, your career, your uh, challenges is pursue excellence. Oprah Winfrey said that she didn't have all of the tools that some of the other girls had when she was growing up or all of the resources, but she pursued excellence. And excellence is like uh, is like truth. You can try and bury it over and cover it over, but it will always rise to the top. So we are grateful and I'm, I'm, I'm excited about the fact that I had the opportunity. I want to give a shout out to the University of District of Columbia because I got a call this week. I'm being uh, honored. I'm grateful for uh, a special honor. The I'm given being given the Ron Brown Leadership Award on Wednesday at their 160th Founders Day convocation, and I will be uh, speaking for that convocation. And I'm. Uh, being given this award. So I'm very thankful for the University of the District of Columbia who are celebrating 160 years of impacting people's lives. So I'm honored and humbled. Well, let's get it on. Today's show is a special show. As I said, it's about gratitude. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. There are two gentlemen who are on a path, on a quest to show people how important it is that gratitude be a part of your lifestyle, a part of your concept, philosophy. One's name is Theans Thien, from South Africa. The other's name is Steve, and he's in Florida. And they have, for the last few months, been sending me information about this board game. It's called the Gratitude Game. And it is profound. Let me read just a little bit about the grat gratitude concept that they have created and the objective of why this is so important. Because if you go to the Gratitude Game site, you'll see the object of gratitude, the game is to teach in a fun and entertaining way life success principles based on ancient, ancient truths known in modern times as universal laws, especially the law of gratitude. The goal of the play is to learn and understand the principles of gratitude and how to use them in their life to become more successful in all areas, not some areas, all areas, such as finance, personal and professional relationships, the workplace, study, school, and spiritual growth. The game has been carefully and thoughtfully designed so that the players are competing not only against each other, but more importantly, against themselves. Mm, that's powerful. Mm. The idea is not unique by any means. Many popular sports, such as golf, acro uh, acrobatics, track and field, and so have always been on uh, personal development as competition. Uh, it's not much about personal development as, uh, as much about personal, I'm sorry, much about personal development as com competition against fellow athletes. The game of gratitude seeks to create similar aspirations within a board and game setting. 
along with a cooperative spirit among the players competing against the requirements of the game as much as competing against each other. Initially, the game is being released in a classic board game, but it will soon have all sorts of apps. There will be apps, online versions, television, radio, all sorts of things. So I am excited about these gentlemen and the fact of what they're doing, and I want to introduce them to you. We actually are doing it. Uh, Theans is in South Africa, and uh, Steve is in Florida, and I say hello to the gentlemen. How are you doing, gentlemen? Doing great, Willie, and congratulations on the award from UDC. Ah, thank great you. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> So uh, you, Hi, Willie. hello, Thin. Yes, How yes. are you, my friend? I, I'm on top of the world, as always, Willie. And thanks for the opportunity that uh, we can be on your show. And I'm really looking forward to it. What part of South Africa are you in, Thin? I mean, the free state, more or less in the middle of South Africa. If you can get a picture like that. Okay, it's in the middle of South Africa. I I, I was in South Africa. Uh, about a year and a half ago, loved it. Uh, I went all over to uh, Johannesburg and to uh, Cape Town and uh, to uh, all, I mean, just all over the place and, and had a phenomenal time. Of all the places I've been, I've been literally around the world speaking. Of all the places I've been, that was my favorite trip for, by far. The food was fabulous. The people were fabulous. Uh, the the joy, the spirit of of uh, reconciliation that uh, Mandela has uh, been a model for, you know, that that was, pro- was profound, wow. how people, black, white, colored, all, whatever way you want to put them, they all love Mandela, and they honor his spirit of uh, reconciliation. So remember that this is a great time to do that. So I'm, I'm grateful for you, gentlemen. Well, let's let's first take a moment to. Uh, I'm gonna give uh, each one of you a quick uh, thirty seconds. Tell us about who Steve is and who Theus is. Uh, so Theus, why don't you tell us about you? Okay, I'm Theus, and um, I really I'm grew up in a, a little town, and um, um, a couple of years ago, when when the uh, secret came out, I. Um, I decided I, I want to create uh, the gratitude game. But before that, I was a policeman. Now I'm, I'm out of the police of the accident I had, and I'm working at the uh, uh, grocery store now. Uh, but um, I'm working on my dream also. So in short, um, that is who I am. I'm uh, following my dream, and I'm very excited uh, because um, that is so amazing. All right. And Steve, how about you? Tell us real quick about Steve. Well, I'm uh, I'm a native of Florida, and but had lived all over the country, and uh, got a really pretty varied background. I was actually a music major in college, and did a master's degree in theology. Wow! Uh, back in the in the early '90s, and so um, I've always sort of been a spiritually curious person. But two movies that really had an impact on me were What the Bleep Do Do We Know and The Secret. And The Secret's the one that really started me on my journey of really growing deeper, uh, more deeply spiritually, and uh, really investigating uh, how life really works from, from a lot of different angles and, and discovering the universal laws. And, um, and then two years ago, Tians and I met, and we'll go, we'll, that, that'll be later, I'm sure. All right, we're going to talk about that, so stay tuned. Folks, you're getting ready to get something that's going to blow your mind. I'm telling you, this game is incredible. So stay tuned. This is the Willie Jolly Show across America and across the world right now, and for sure the best is yet to come. If you can not the- Here's a couple quotes I think are profound. Jesus said it so wonderfully. He said, I assure you, even if you had faith as small as a mustard seed, nothing would be impossible to you. How about this one by Marcus Cicero? Gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues, but the parent of all others. Wallace Waddles, the great author and prosperity teacher, wrote, Nothing that man can think is impossible. Napoleon Hill, the author of Think and Grow Rich, said, whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Norman Vincent Peale, the power of positive thinking, author said, change your thoughts and you'll change your world. Mike Dooley said, thoughts become things. Oprah Winfrey said, if you start being grateful for what you have, you will begin to see you have more. You will attract more by an attitude of gratitude. Mm, come on, somebody. This is true, folks. And the authors of, or founders of 
this new game that's going to take over the world. You, you thought Monopoly was going to be big? <laughs> Wait till you get to see this game. It's called The Gratitude Game. And I've got the two authors. One is in Florida and one is in South Africa. As we speak, we're doing a special worldwide impact, worldwide contact today. And this is a unique uh, opportunity. So the two gentlemen are on. One is Steve Vernon. And Steve is one of the founders. He's a partner in this. But the actual founder who came up with this idea is a guy named Fence. He is from South Africa. He's a former police officer who decided that he had a greater, bigger goal or vision in his life. And he left the police force and has been working on this goal and this dream. And they're actually trying to uh, get people to go to their website and become partners in terms of uh, investing or uh, donating to this dream that they have to get this positive, powerful message out. They can talk more about that later, but we want to do it by next Friday. So I'm glad I was able to uh, get on the air with them today. We've been having some uh, uh, new systems coming on. We're online today only, but tomorrow we'll be online and on air. And so I wanted to make sure people could get to hear this. So, gentlemen, uh, Steve and, and Thins, are you there? We are here. All right, well, we're, yeah, yeah. All right we are, we're all over America right now. People are listening and are now all over the world because of the Internet. People can hear this. So why don't you tell us a little more about the game uh, uh, and, and what, what really inspired you to, to make this thing go to the next level? Yeah, that's your... um, okay, that's mine. <laughs> yes, um, and Willie, one morning I was doing my, my uh, morning walk, and um, that time um, I was still in Paris in South Africa, and um, I was walking over a, a river, or over a bridge, and I was listening to, to Napole- Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich. And for on that moment, I, I even kind of exactly show you exactly where it happened on that bridge. I the, 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 I got my aha moment um, when it pops into my mind that you get the Monopoly games and you get the cash flow games of Robert Kiyosaki that teach you uh, principles about um, property and how to do investments. And um, you get a, a travel pursuit game that um, gives me a bit of knowledge about life in general and so on. And I thought, gee whiz, there's, there's no game that I know of um, that teach people life principles like we learn in um, Napoleon's books and other books about think, um, well, think and grow rich um, and as man thinkers and those books and what, what you guys is teaching the people. And uh, then I um, go and say, no, I'm going to create a game uh, that can teach children from a young age as from school to, 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 to get get more information about and learn how to, how to apply these laws because they don't learn it in school. And that is that is how this whole game uh, come up for, uh, become uh, alive. Or that was an idea. And um, on that time, I was thinking about, um, I'm going to call it the, the bridge to success. And because it's, I, I saw it like a bridge that you need to walk over and actually it happened on a bridge that, that day when I get this idea. Wow. Wow. So you're listening to Think and Grow Rich, which for, for those who don't know about that, and I hope everybody does, but for those who don't know, that is probably one of the iconic books in self-help and self-development. And it was the first book I was introduced to when I started changing my thinking from a, a broke, busted nightclub singer to say, okay, I can change my, I want to change my life. I want to do something that grows my success and grows my future. And I read this book called Think and Grow Rich. And it really did have a profound impact on me. And then I started listening to a tape series. Actually, it was one singular tape at that point uh, called The Strangest Secret in the World. And I listened to that every day for months, every day for months. And I got my family to listen to it. And it had such a profound impact on our uh, life. And I, I think, in fact, you can actually, if you go to my website, willyjolly.com, we are, we have a free copy of uh, Think and Grow Rich somewhere on there for, I don't know exactly where, but if you go to my website, you can actually get it. Or just send us an email. We can get you. There's a way to, for us to get you a, a copy of that. But that that book profoundly impacted my thinking and obviously Theon's thinking. And then, Steve, how did you get involved? 
Well, I, <laughs> let's put it bluntly, Tim's recruited me into a network marketing company. <laughs> okay, that's that do it. <laughs> he befriended me one time. I got this request, oh, it was about two years ago. I was on Facebook, and I got this friend request, as you know, one always does, especially when you're on in your online marketing, everybody's after you. And But I got this friend request, and it was very unusual. It was just, it was a different kind of request message than I'd ever gotten. It was just very friendly, very uh and it was filled with a sense of gratitude. And so I, you know, I thought, well, I'll befriend this guy. I had no idea who he was. And so I accepted the friend request. Next thing you know, I'm getting this wonderful message back thanking me for the for befriending him and telling me all about how important gratitude is and, you know, how gratitude, as Cicero said, gratitude is not only, you know, the greatest of virtues, but it's the parent of all others. And I went, wow, this is something else. So we started chatting and he ended up recruiting me into this online marketing company. And we had a team that was literally worldwide. I always said if we had just one person in Hawaii, we would have had somebody on our team every six hours around the world. But we did weekly Skype calls, and uh, uh, then Tians and I would always end up following up with our own video calls, and we just became very, very good friends. And Tians had told me a little bit about this game idea he had from the very beginning, and I didn't, I didn't really take it too seriously at first, but he says, you know, I've got somebody that's supposed to be working on the graphics here, and he knew I was a graphic designer. And finally, uh, just about a year ago, so Steve, he says, I, I, I've had it with these other people that are not coming through. I would really be honored if you would come in with me and take over the whole graphic and physical design of the game and be a 50-50 partner with me in the, in the creation of this game. And, and the rest is history. We've been working on it since about, what, about last January, February, just about a, almost exactly a year we've been working together on this thing. It, well, it's, and it's about to really pop, folks, because it's about to be at another level. Now, you know, this is a game that talks about gratitude. And I can't say it enough to people who want greater success, who want to have more wealth in their lives. You really do have to have an attitude of gratitude. It really is a a necessity, not a nice thing. It's a necessity to have an attitude of gratitude because, as you know, I write books about comebacks, uh, setbacks set up for a comeback, uh, turn setbacks into greenbacks. And in all my books and all the books I've written, it uh, only takes a minute to change your life, uh, the attitude of excellence. It always talks about the impact that gratitude has on your success. Because when you have an attitude of gratitude, you look at life from a different filter, a different lens. You see things differently, and when stuff happens, which it will, you have a different perspective. What we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to talk about in the next uh, segment, we're going to talk about some of the lessons you can learn from this book on, uh, or this, uh, not book, uh, this uh, game of gratitude, as well as, uh, as well as the, it's going to be a book, I'm sure, at some point in time, because y'all are on to something here. Y'all are on to something big. And yeah. uh, I love the site. I love the website. I even like the Gratitude Radio. Wow, that is so cool. So yeah. it's it's a lot going to happen in the near future. So I want everybody to stay tuned. We've got more to come. You're listening to the Willie Jolly for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. The best is yet to come. Okay, let's talk about this game, the Gratitude Game. And why it is important from you two gentlemen's perspective to, to be grateful. To what, what is it that does for you? What is it that is, it, it impacts your life? I'll start with you, Steve. Well, you know, we talk about the law of attraction and all the universal laws and how we live by these universal laws. You know, that, that what we think is, is the basis for our, our reality and the basis for everything in our life. And if we don't start with an attitude of gratitude, then it, 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 it puts everything else in a different perspective. You know, um, we're going to, if we're not, we're, if we're not waking up in the morning, first thing and, and thanking God, thanking the universe for everything that we have, you know, as Oprah says, you know, if you're not, if you're not grateful for what you have, you're not going to great, you're not going to be grateful for what you're going to get. Right. And, um, you know, everything starts with being grateful for, for, for what we have in our lives, no matter how little, no matter how, you know, perspectively, uh, it may look bad or, you know, whatever. It, it, we have to be thankful for what we do have. And, and then we begin to attract, with that attitude, that we begin to attract the good things, the success, the prosperity, the abundance, the positive relationships, um, everything else that we, we truly want in our lives. 
we begin to attract those things into our lives, beginning with gratitude. Right. And I must say, you know, as you know, the game's not just about gratitude. It really is about teaching all of these principles, the law of attraction, the law of allowing, the law of intentional creation, all of that. But it begins with gratitude. Gratitude is central to everything else that's being taught in the game. Got it. And Theans, uh, tell us some of the, the, the lessons that you want people to get from this gratitude game. Yes. Um, well, on the game, on, on one stage, um, there's elephant blocks um, that you land on, and elephants represent in the world wisdom because elephants um, become so old. <laughs> and um, yeah, um, when you land on that block, um, you're going to pick up a card that um, um, asks you a question like, um, "Is it important to write down your dreams?" and um, and and um, questions like. Um, uh, are you setting your goals and so on? So that that is questions that that can teach people about the principles. And the other side also is there's a block really that is the gratitude the, the gratitude block. Um, that if you land on that one, you pick up a gratitude card and 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 um, you can only get good things from that because you will get, for example, 30 seconds and you pick pick up a a card to a house. Then you need to write down. Or say why are you grateful for a house, for example, and um, so there you re- you really learn about gratitude. But then also there's a there's a section uh, or a block on the on the game that is a slogan, the little parrot, and um, there people um, uh, slogans like um, think uh, um, uh, Henry Ford um, uh, that said. Um, um, you can if you think you can. And right. I, in fact, I got some of those questions right here on my, on my list here because I want to. I'm going to open up the phone lines in a minute because I'm going to. Um, I'm going to offer people an opportunity to get a gift. We're going to do a little bit of the game. I got some of the questions. We're going to ask okay. the questions, and if somebody can call in with the right answer, I'm going to give them a gift. How do you like that? Now, uh, y'all got a, a deadline coming up next Friday. Tell us about what you're trying to do. Well, several months ago, actually, last uh, yeah, a couple months ago, a buddy of mine sent me a link. He knew we were trying to fund, uh, uh, get some initial funding for the game, and actually, what we're we're wanting to do is get out to about. a huge business forum out in Las Vegas in in next month, uh, where we'll be put together with um, uh, we'll be meeting with some big uh, five uh, Fortune 500 company representatives, game manufacturers, all kinds of manufacturers. Uh, investors, um, uh, branding and marketing experts. Uh, the organization is called CEO Space International, and uh, we have information about that on our website. Uh, there will be people there uh, who are major law of attraction and motivational teachers, you know, like Bob Proctor and, and your mentor, Les Brown, and Lisa Nichols, and all these, Mar- uh, Jack Canfield, of the, uh, and Mark Victor Hansen of the Chicken Soup for the Soul series. All these people are there to meet one on one with us. And this is a by invitation only. We have received an invitation to attend this conference and forum, and um, it is a, an outstanding opportunity for us to uh, uh, to get the game produced and out to the world the way we really need to get it out there most efficiently. But it's very expensive. So we we learned about this. I learned several months ago about a uh, a platform out there called Kickstarter. And I realized that I had actually helped fund a music video uh, for some guys that I know back last summer. Um, they had a goal of something like $18,000 to raise, and they met their goal uh, and were able to produce this uh, 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 this music video. Kickstarter is a little bit different platform, though. That's not an investment. People, it, it's designed for all sorts of create, creative projects. It could be games. It could be art. It could be film. It could be theater, dance, uh, publishing, whatever. And it, it, it brings together people who believe in, 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 in supporting creative projects. And you set up pledge levels, and they pledge a certain amount, and it's an all or nothing. You either reach your goal or you don't. If you don't reach your goal, you don't get anything. But each person signs up to pledge a certain amount. We set up, we set up several pledge levels, and uh, each level gets a certain, uh, certain, uh, certain rewards. It may be your name in our rule book. Uh, it may be your name uh, and link on our website. It may be a, a, a gift, uh, an item from our gratitude st- uh, stuff store that we can talk about. It may be a first issue copy of the game when they come out. It may be first issue copies of everything that comes out over the next three years. 
depending on the on the level of commitment you make, and it's only a pledge. If we if we if we if we if we, if we fund our minimum goal uh, by next Friday, then we get it. If we don't fund that minimum goal, then we get nothing. Nobody's charged. Nobody gets a reward. <laughs> And that's how Kickstarter works in a... Uh, you know, what uh, that is, 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 is there's a uh, principle yeah. in, um, in many Asian communities as well as in many uh, uh, other communities where the principle is that you invest not expecting anything in return, but it's the right. giving that creates the, the prosperity. It's yeah. the giving that creates the abundance. And I found that to be true. We have, uh, and I, I have it written in one of my uh, papers that I wrote not long ago, did some research. I can't bring the name up because it's a special name. But whatever it is, it's that you, you give to the pool. And then if we, as a matter of giving, it is then a response uh, to the universe, to the fact that you have an openness, that you've, you've opened your heart and mind to receive. So this yes. is powerful. Uh, when we come back, I'm going to open up the lines, 866-801-8255, 866-801-8255. I'm going to ask you uh, some of these questions in the game and see which answer we come up with. And I'll start with one so somebody can call in now. You should do what with your dreams. One, think about them once or twice a week. Two, write them down. Three, tell all your friends and neighbors about it. Four, toss them out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Think about them once or twice a week, write them down, tell your friends and neighbors about them, or toss them out the window. Do you tell me which one of those is right, and we're going to give you a gift. We'll be right back. You're listening to The Willie Jolly Show. And for sure, the best is yet to come. If you believe, if you believe in your heart, you can achieve incredible things. This is Willie Jolly. And I want you to go to my website, WillieJolly.com, sign up for my newsletter. Get my interview I did with Bob Johnson on how he became a billionaire. You get that free as a gift when you sign up for the newsletter. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook and make a commitment that you're going to get in gear and be part of our Year to Millionaire, Year to Millionaire program. Okay, we're going to get it on. We are ready to roll. I'm telling you, this game is called the Gratitude. But real quick, gentlemen, where can they get information on the Gratitude Game online? Tell us what they should you should send people. Our website is gratitude-thegame.com. 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 Okay, now we're going to open up the phone lines. I'm going to ask a couple more questions. We got somebody, we got people on the line already. What should you do with your dreams? A, think about them once or twice a week. B, write them down. C, tell all your friends and neighbors about them. D, toss them out the window. Question number two for other people, because I think person on number one of the people already said they got that first question. We'll see. Uh, question number two, what is a vision board? Something an optometrist uses? B, a type of committee? C, something on which you put your images of your dreams and goals? Or D, a piece of see-through lumber? Three, what is one thing you should have with yourself every day? A, a self-talk. B, dinner at a nice restaurant. C, a pencil. Four, D, a stress ball. Four, how many times do you have to do something in order to create a new habit or break an old one? A, 16. B, 4. C, 42. D, 123. To become a successful and prosperous person, is it important to have a clear vision about A, your next meal? B, what you did yesterday? C, your past successes and failures? D, your future. Okay, we're going to start with uh, whoever's on the line. And uh, those who want to call in, it's 866-801-8255. I'm giving away gifts today. I'm going to give you something good if you get the right answer. All right, we got Joe on from North Carolina. Joe, are you there? Yes, sir. How are you doing today? Pretty good. How about yourself? I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, are you in the car or are you home or where are you? I'm rolling down the road. Highway, truck all, driver. all right. Now you're listening to this on the radio, or you got internet in your in your in your vehicle? Uh, Sirius XM radio. Okay, it's on the radio today. I thought it was just on, uh, but that's good. Good, good. You should do what with your dreams? A. Think about them once or twice a week. B. Write them down. C. Tell all your friends and neighbors about them. Or D. Toss them out the window. Uh, I believe it's D. Write them down. Bam! You got it. Am I right about it, Steve? 
You are right. <laughs> oh. Ding, ding. <laughs> All right, Joe, you get you get you get the answer. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Daryl. <laughs> yes, he wins. Okay, so Joe, if you will, uh, I, I, if you would do me a favor and send me an email, uh, just a, uh, info i n f as in Frank O. Or just go to WillieJolly.com. Say this is Joe from North Carolina, and give me your email. We're going to send you a a uh, one of my books. How you like that? All right, I love to read. Oh uh, man, you're gonna love the book, and we're gonna send you a couple other goodies because I know you are you're on your way to do great things. Thank you for listening, and I'm grateful for you, man. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Yeah. Oh man, that's great. Okay, anybody else want to call in eight six six eight zero one eight two five five? Now, you know this is exciting. This is going to be a big game, and Steve, you, I think y'all are on to something that's really huge here because we've known that from the beginning. You knew that from day <laughs> one, huh? Absolutely. Yeah. Theans is uh, uh, walking across a bridge in South Africa and realized that this could be the bridge to somebody's prosperity. This could be the bridge to somebody's wealth. This could be the bridge to understanding the, the, the life principles and the and the truths of life. That as a man thinketh so as he is. Bible tells it all the time that you must write a vision and make it plain that he that reads it may run the race. There's so many scriptural references that have truth about success and wealth building. And yet, many times people don't know because they haven't had the opportunity to be exposed. Well, this game is going to expose them to new opportunities and new possibilities. Let me go down those questions. What is a vision board? I had asked that question. Is it something an optometrist uses? B, a type of committee? C, something on which you put images of your dreams and goals? Or D, a piece of see-through lumber? You know, I almost had to keep from laughing out loud when I was reading that because a piece of see-through lumber. Wow. Uh, uh, an, my brain works. That's right. That is good. Well, the answer is a vision board is something on which you put your images of your dreams and goals. I have a vision board in my office of a jet, a Lear jet. I spoke for Lear uh, and I, I, no, I spoke for Gulfstream and I have a Gulfstream jet uh, on my vision board. I also have uh, a, a couple cars that I, I like, I have a home, I have uh, a, a scholarship fund that I want to be able to give. Uh, scholarships uh, to more people and to be a blessing to more folks. And so we got to we got to get the money to, so I can do more philanthropic things. So, you know, you got to have a vision board about what you're doing. And I think that's very powerful. Oprah talks about it. A lot of the success teachers talk about write your vision. And you know what? That the vision board is like a new way of, of, of that scriptural reference. Write your vision. Make it plain that he that reads it may run the race. That you know where you're going. I spoke, as I was said this morning, for the young girls. And I said to them, I said, how many of you uh, uh, every day go to school? And they rose, re, rose uh, a couple of them rose their hands up, you know, raised their hands. And, and, and they said, okay, great. Now, one little girl I asked, I said, now, you're on your way to school. How far is school from you? She says, down in the a couple of blocks down from my home. I said, how long does it take? You know, four or five minutes. Okay, great. Do you have to cross any streets to get to your school? Yeah, I have to cross a couple of streets. I said, I said okay, great. Now, imagine that you got up uh, Monday morning to go to school, and on your way there, there was a water main break so that, that they had closed the street that you got to cross to get to your school. Do you go back home? She said, no. I said, what do you do? She said, I, I, I'll figure out a new way to get there. I said, that's exactly right about life. That is why you got to know where you're going, because if you don't know where you're going, it's not clear. If they don't have a clear vision for where you're going, then you get stopped by the smallest thing. But if you've got a clear vision, you will find a way to get there. Am I right about it, Steve? Am I right about the fence? Absolutely right. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely right. So that's why we want people to get fired up about where they're going, what they're going to do, and how they're going to achieve it. And we need them to be a part of this process, a part of this program to get this game uh, going and growing. So well, I want you to go to the gratitude dash, uh, gratitude dash the game. Am I right, Steve? Yes. And actually, if they want to go directly to our campaign site, yes. Yes. It's, kick, it's Kickstarter, one word, K-I-C-K-S-T-A-R-T-E-R, Kickstarter dot gratitude dash the game dot com. Kickstarter. Dot, dot dot gratitude dash the game dot com. Got it. Kicks, okay. And there's also a link on our homepage of the, of the gratitude site to gratitude dash the game dot com site. Great, great. great. 
Because there are two ways. Now, I do have a question. How many times do you have to do something in order to create a new habit or break an old one? I'm not sure of the answer to that. I had a different number in my mind. So is it A, 16, B, 4, C, 42, or D, 123? Uh, it's 42. 42. Okay, got it. Uh, I, I was under. I had I had a different number. I had 21 days, but 42, two, two, two times that. That might be the answer, and that's very clear. To become a success and prosper, it's important to have a clear vision about a your next meal, what you'd be, what you did yesterday. C, your past successes and failures, or D, your future. And we already talked about you got to have a clear vision about your future. Mm. Uh, how about this one? What is one thing you should have with yourself? Every day, A, self-talk, B, dinner at a nice restaurant, C, a pencil, D, a stress ball. That pencil <laughs> wiped me out. <laughs> I personally like the idea of a dinner at a nice restaurant. <laughs> the answer is self-talk. You ought to have conversation, self-conversation and positive. That's amazing you would have that answer. I spoke to the girls today. One of the girls uh, asked a question at the end at the conference I spoke at. She said, I've wanted to sing, but I have friends who make fun of me when I sing, and I've been very nervous. And I said, you have to have self-talk with yourself. My youth video, uh, Dare to Dream, Dare to Win, talks about the power of self-conversation, positive self-talk. Eighty Over 80% 80 of our conversation is negative. That's why we have to start to change our conversation with ourselves and tell ourselves that we can do it. It's possible. You've got something special inside of you. You were born for greatness. I'm getting fired up just talking to myself. I get in that kind of mood and I mode, and I get fired fired up, look myself dead in the eye in the mirror and say, Willie Jolly, you were born for greatness. You were born to make a difference, born to be an impacting person. And that's why you got to talk to yourself in a great way. Guys, y'all have been just fantastic today with this great, great game. One more time, where can they get it? Gratitude-thegame.com. And when the, and right on the home page, and right on the home page, there's a link to our Kickstarter. Page. Kickstarter by next Friday, folks. We need y'all to to jump in and be a part of this success process. I want to thank you, Steve Fernand from Florida, and I want to thank my friend Thins from South Africa, my friend. <laughs> thank you really for you're the best. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. You will be blessed and thank for the opportunity to talk to the world. Oh, with my pleasure, my friend. My pleasure. I know this is going to be a big success, and I can't wait to see it in every store, online, the apps. I'm ready to see it online. It's a fabulous idea and a fabulous game. Thank you, gentlemen, for taking time out today with Be With Us, and we look forward to uh, hearing more and great things coming up. Okay, folks, y'all stay tuned. we got more to come. You're listening to the Willie Jolly Show across America, and for sure, the best is yet to come. You put 